Enough talking about statistics, let's do it! Hopefully at this point you have had a chance to download Jamovi and play around with it a little bit. And you have also installed Glyn Mod, which shows up right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to open a data set. To do that, we're going to click on this button right here and then go to open and you would navigate to wherever you want it. Or in this case, I'm just going to go down here because it was a recent data set and I'm going to load the exercise data set. Y'all should have it now. If not, it's in the description. After we read in our data, we've got the different columns, therapy types, so different therapies that were performed on people to help them lose weight. There is a behaviorist condition and a cognitive condition. There's a health score, motivation, weight loss, etc. And I'm noticing here that health is, so that ruler in the top left of motivation says this is a uh, numeric variable and that little circle thing means that this is a categorical variable and that shouldn't happen. So I'm gonna go under data and then set up and then I'm going to change health from a nominal variable to a continuous. I could also do ordinal but I'm gonna go ahead and keep it as continuous and then yeah. So that should take care of that and then now if we go under analysis and then go under Glyn Mod. There's going to be two options. There's going to be General Linear Model and there's going to be Flexplot. We're going to get into the General Linear Model uh, next week or the week after or the week after once we start talking about residuals and estimates and model comparisons, that sort of thing. So for today, go ahead and click on Flexplot and this is the tool you're going to use to generate histograms and bar charts. And then next week's we'll talk about uh, box, or I'm sorry, not box plots, uh, dot plots and scatter plots. So let's go ahead and do a preliminary analysis or visualization. So let's go ahead and look at the health variable. And oh, let me make my screen bigger here. So we see that the health scores range from zero ish to 40 plus ish. And there's some it's not a perfectly symmetrical distribution it almost looks bimodal, but that's probably just the noisiness of the data. And that's okay. So but Fairly a close approximation to a symmetric normal distribution, so nothing to worry about there. Woohoo! And then let's go ahead and look at motivation. Sure, why not? And motivation, similar story. We've got an approximate symmetric distribution, nothing too egregious going on here, not excessive outliers, not zero inflated, not extreme skewness, those sorts of things. So that looks good. Now let's go ahead and look at a categorical variable. So let's take gender, for example. So gender, here we've got females on the left and males on the right. Females looks like they've got uh, almost 150 females and then males probably 60 or so. So we have uh, about twice as many females as we have males, which uh, I don't know, do we expect that? I don't know, I didn't run the study. Sounds good to me. And just for fun, let's go ahead and look at therapy type since that's the variable of interest. And looks like we got a 50-50 split. And let's just pretend that's exactly what we expect because we randomly assign subjects to either the behaviorist condition or the cognitive condition. So it should be about 50-50-ish. I mean, that's all there is to it. Isn't that simple? Holy cow, wow, that's amazing. Yeah, I get it. So that's really all you have to do. So that is your first introduction to using Flexplot within Glidmod within Jamovi. I hope that helps. We'll see you next time.